Hello Capricorn. Thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding the person you are thinking about. It'll be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. Just because you're watching this video does not mean this is your story. Uh, feel free to take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, check out your other placements, your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Those usually um, or can resonate more than your sun sign. All right, let's get into it for Capricorn spirit. What messages do you have for Capricorn in regards to love? For Capricorn spirit. I'm using the Ojo Zen Tarot here as an Oracle deck. All right, let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. Can you tell me about this situation there and the person you're thinking about? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. First card out is adventure. And then we got letting go. Interesting. Walking away from something here. going on a new adventure a new journey a new cycle this could be you going on a new adventure walking away or your person let's see what else for capricorn the burden and this is like six of air which is six of swords all about leaving a situation um so there's someone feels like a burden that they need to let go of. There's a burden here that needs to be let go of. What else for Capricorn? Oh, we got two. Experiencing and then harmony. Fire and water. Very interesting. This is similar to the Ten of Cups, although I don't see it that way. And then experiencing. So it's almost like someone's definitely going after balance. After something, something they've waited for or something that they want to grow. Let's get into the, Oh, actually, let me pull some of these cards. This is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. For Capricorn, please do. give me some insight into this person they're dealing with. Spirit, give me some insight for the person that Capricorn is dealing with, please. Okay, give me some insight, please, Spirit, into the person that Capricorn is dealing with. All right, so let's see. What are this person's thoughts or feelings here, Spirit? What are the insight can you give me for the person that Capricorn is thinking about? Okay, beaver. Beautiful energy here with the beaver. They're usually family-oriented providers. They take care of their family. Hardworking. What else for this person? Okay. Lion, okay. Leader of the pack, wise. And then we got Phoenix. Rebirth here. Out of flames, something very beautiful. And these two cards here, they have like flames in them. So I don't think that's a coincidence that I have the Phoenix here. So someone is coming into their power with very high vibration here wanting to make a, a, a drastic change with the phoenix and it's someone in this connection that wants to balance things out they want just peace and harmony so let's see what this is about spirit for capricorn this is the crow tarot Tell me more, Spirit. 
I'm gonna be doing a you and them spread. So you will be on one side Capricorn and your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more. For Capricorn, please. For love, June 2020. What does Capricorn need to know? Oops. What does Capricorn need to know in regards to love? Okay, for Capricorn. Let's start with you, Capricorn. What can you tell me about Capricorn's thoughts or feelings regarding this situation? Capricorn. What energies does Capricorn have in this connection? Temperance reversed. Sagittarius energy here. Something has not been able to come together in harmony here. Uh, maybe there needs to be more patience. Let's see. What else for Capricorn? Ooh, Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. So you haven't possibly been able to be completely independent or or indi or um, free, secure in yourself yet. Maybe this is a work in progress, or this is where you are right now. It's just something else can't come together for you. What else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn? There. Ooh, the tower reversed. So either you already know a tower is coming and you're preparing for it or you're trying to avoid it. Let's look at your person. Tell me about Capricorn's person. What can you tell me about their thoughts or feelings regarding this connection with Capricorn? Three of Swords reversed. My goodness. So your person very well could be... Um, either in another connection or trying to heal something here. Tell me more, okay? Ace of Cups reversed. Three of Cups reversed. So this is definitely a third party situation here. Your person, there's interference here in this connection and it's on your person's side. They have someone in their side that's interfering. This could be another partner, but it could also be um, a parent, a friend, pay, uh, finances, distance, anything that's interfering in a connection is happening here. And it's very um, heartbreaking and disappointing for this person. It could also be that wherever they're at, there's not a lot of love. Tell me more for this person that Capricorn is dealing with. Tell me more, Spirit. Five of Swords. So your person here, Capricorn, is experiencing some sort of defeat or loss. Uh, maybe there was deception here in, in whatever happened or is happening. Someone is trying to play dirty here and it's just causing heartbreak and disappointment. Bottom of the deck, Page of Swords. This could have something to do with communication. Maybe there was a fight, an argument. Um, someone try to win the fight at all costs and it cost them something. So let's see, what can you tell me about this connection as a whole? What's going on here between these two? What's going on here, spirit, between these two? Seven of Swords, my goodness. So some sort of deception or avoidance here. And then I have the Four of Pentacles reversed. So someone's holding back the truth is what I see here. Again, uh, someone could be wanting to, let's see what else I can get here before I say it. Give me some more. What's going on here between Capricorn and this person? Five of Wands, what is going on Capricorn? This is conflict, arguments, not seeing eye to eye, disappointment. This could also be a lot of people involved here. Give me one more, please, for Capricorn and this person. Two 
two of pentacles a choice going back and forth weighing the pros and cons trying to figure out what to do here bottom of the deck nine of cups reversed so something here is not someone's wish is not being granted or what they wished for and they got was not what they expected or what they thought it was going to be but this is a mess capricorn i gotta be honest this is a mess i feel like whatever's happening here is causing an imbalance over there with you and i see that you're focused on being stable and grounded you're focused on being this type of energy i feel beaver lion you know i feel like you want to change but at the same time you don't want to cause a tower or you don't want to have to deal with a tower moment something that will be very difficult to deal with uncomfortable so let's clarify i'm just going to clarify with the same deck here tell me about temperance reverse What's this temperance reversed about? Spirit, what's temperance reversed? The sun? Interesting. So something, it might have something to do with children, but it could also have something to do with clarity. Tell me more about Temperance Reverse, please. Six of Cups Reverse. The past. What's this? Two of Cups. My goodness. So this has something to do with a connection. A connection that couldn't come together in the past, possibly. A connection that made you very happy or maybe you're having clarity about why a connection didn't work out why it wasn't able to come together in harmony uh, this two of cups is reversed by the way so it's almost like there could have been a separation here a breakup of some sort uh, with someone from the past eight of Pentacles at the bottom it didn't work this connection in the past even though it made you very happy or again you're seeing it clearly it could be one of those two things tell me about the nine of Pentacles tell me about the nine of Pentacles please what's this nine of Pentacles about nine of cups reversed so you you definitely are thinking about a wish being granted that has not either happened or wasn't what you thought it was going to be and now you're like doing your own thing tell me more with this nine of pentacles please the fool yeah you are thinking of a new beginning on your own doing you because something didn't work out yeah, Ten of Wands reversed. You're, you're putting down this burden. This burden here. This is you. You're putting down a burden and letting go and going on a new adventure. You are being a phoenix. Okay, tell me about this Seven of Swords. What's the Seven of Swords about here, Spirit? You could be letting go of this deception, this Seven of Swords energy, this drama. Ace of Wands, again with the new beginning here. You might not be telling people that this is what you're doing, that this is what you're working on, a new beginning for yourself. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. You might be strategizing a new beginning here nine of wands yeah you're tired of you're tired of like the deception and the 
the fighting, the arguing, the conflict, the drama, and you're like, you want a new beginning for yourself. I feel like you're making it happen for yourself. Interesting. Let's see what your person's doing over here. What's this Three of Swords and Three of Cups reversed about? What's going on there? The Lovers reversed, definitely. This person made a bad choice in the partner they're with. Gemini energy there. Okay, so what's with this Five of Swords then? Ten of Swords. This this decept this deception, this fight caused an ending. There was a huge loss, a betrayal possibly. Yeah, here are three of pentacles. It could have been something to do with a third person. This. Death at the bottom. Definitely an ending happened here. So what's this two of pentacles about? Now I'm curious. What's this two of pentacles about? This is someone praying, uh, praying, <laughs> weighing the pros and cons of a situation or a decision. What's this two of sort two of swords? Two of pentacles about why can I why can I talk about this card? Six of pentacles. Someone is rebalancing a situation for themselves. There's gonna be an equal exchange here in some way. Tell me about this two of pentacles, please. Can I get some more cards? Four of wands, definitely balance and harmony. Harmony. This is what you're after. And you're going to make it happen, Capricorn. Eight of Cups reversed. Interesting. Someone could be coming back to you. Or you could be returning to someone else. There could be a delay in your departure. Whew. Yeah, no, I don't see that. Yeah, I don't see that. I see you like you know what you have you know what you need to do with judgment here. Like you're ready for a renewal and you've had an epiphany. You're having a rebirth, literally. And I feel like there's nobody getting in your way. So this could be you wanting to return somewhere, go back to something. You could be wanting someone to return to you, someone to come back to you. But if they don't, I don't see this as like, I don't see this as a, uh, a deterrent for you. I feel like even if you don't return to somewhere or they don't return to you, like, I feel like you're still going to be doing you solid. You're going to be solid. Tell me about this tower reversed. What's this tower reversed? This tower reverse. Knight of Wands. Yep. You're just going to go after whatever it is. Even after this tower happens or... Yeah, look at this. Wheel of Fortune. Luck is on your side. Fortune is on your side. Everything... Like, you you have all... There, There is nothing that's... Yeah, even if there's... Yeah, look at this. Six of Wands, High Priestess. Yeah, like it doesn't matter. You're still going to get, you're still going to become free. You're going to know what to do with this deception, this lack of clarity. It's going to change. Something is going to be a huge change in your life with this Wheel of Fortune. I feel like that's going to be the turning point for you the beginning something new and that could be anything it could be a new job it could be moving somewhere new it could be a new person in your life whether it's a friend or a lover but it's like nothing's going to be the same it's going to be a complete transformation 
we pretty much got all of these cards up there in the Oracle deck. We pretty much got all of those cards here in your reading, which to me is just confirmation. I feel like you are someone that relies on yourself, takes care of others, is very wise, a, a natural born leader, and you are gonna make this happen for yourself because there's luck on your side. Now your person, unfortunately, is going through a tough time here. They made a bad choice. Now, whether they know that, who knows? I have a feeling they do because there's no love here. There's no, there's just disappointment. Um, there's endings, difficult endings here for your person. Um, now they could work on something because of this ending. They could be working on something. Let's see. What's this three of pentacles about? What's this three of pentacles about? Eight of cups reversed. So they could be return, trying to work on returning back to you or coming back to you or they're unable to leave a situation. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. Ten of Wands reverse. So you're both kind of mirroring each other here. Yep. So you're, you're both kind of mirroring each other, judgment at the bottom. My goodness. This person could be watching you and what you're doing and wanting to do the same thing. Maybe this is a plan. You know, maybe maybe you're both working on this together, leaving certain things behind to come together. Or your person looks at you as an inspiration and it's like, I want to do that too. Um, there has possibly been no contact with this person or very little communication. Um, but they're waking up in order to drop a burden as well. So you're mirroring each other. Although this person I feel is having a tougher time than you for some reason. Interesting. Can I have one more please for this three of pentacles? Can I have one more please? That's way too many. One more, please, for these three of pentacles. Two of swords. They have a decision to make, too. They're stuck making a decision. That's They're, they're going to be um, delayed, possibly. What's at the bottom here? Nine of swords. So they're um, possibly dealing with fear, anxiety, guilt over here, keeping them stuck. But you're not having that that same problem so you're both almost like on different levels here even though you have the same goals i don't know why i'm getting that but for some of you that's definitely the case either you're working on this together or you're inspiring someone else your person to get their act together because you're over here like well if you're not going to match me i'm just going to do it myself and i don't think you would have any issue leaving this person behind maybe that's the wake-up call they needed because you're going to get everything that you want. Stability, harmony, and balance here. And you're going to leave all of this behind and have a new beginning for yourself. And luck is on your side. That's what I see here. Capricorn, I'll leave it here. I hope this reading resonated with you, that you got something out of it. If it didn't resonate with you, then it was just not your reading this time around. Check out your other placements for more messages. Uh, thank you again to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it and I will hopefully see you in another video. Take care.